Hi, this is Mark from LongIWatch.com and back from the craziness of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Lots of, lots of good deals went out the door. Uh, I hope you got yours. Uh, if not, maybe something else this month. Uh, today, I'm going to start, there'll be a couple of videos, uh, some Orient new releases. Today, I'm going to be featuring what I think is the most exciting one, uh, the Defender second version. Uh, so there's five of them, and they look really cool. They're not drab. I mean, some of them are still drab, <laughs> but uh, they look really nice. Uh, so I'm going to review five of them for you today. Uh, and coming up, there's the Commuter and one other. I forget the name. One of them actually looks like the um, Stingray Starfish that we had years ago. Uh, the big upgrade here now is uh, hand winding and hacking. So we'll get over and check those out. I am still wearing my Islander. And, oh, I put this one on before. Well, this came out for Thanksgiving. My daughter picked it out. Um, so, it'll stay on for a little while. Um, let's check out the Defenders. So, this has been a long time coming. I was told, I want to say it's the summer of 2006, I believe, that Orion was kind of going away, just like Seiko was kind of going away, from their non-hand winding, non-hacking movements, uh, to hand winding and hacking. For Seiko, is a 7S26, the 4R36, nothing to do with these here. Uh, for Orion, it is the same upgrade to their caliber. So for a while there, um, the Bambinos kind of disappeared, the Reiko and, Reiko, Reiko and Mays, my goodness, Rays and Makos kind of disappeared, and they were all were replaced with hand, hand <laughs> I'm, I'm bad today, hand winding and hacking variants. Uh, so it stands to reason that the Defender would come back with hand winding and hacking, and I know also the Orion Pilot, the Flight Watch, came back with hand winding and hacking. That, though, did not see a USA release yet. I'm sure it will soon. Uh, the original Defender came in just a couple of colors, black and blue, and then the ivory. Uh, also a slate gray. Um, but again, Seiko and Orion are different companies um, as far as management. But they seem to have taken a, a, a page from their playbook. I mean, we've got nylon straps, we've got leather straps. They look really nice, and there's some styling added to them more than just a utilitarian um, watch. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go over like two of them, and then I'll show you the rest uh, quickly. So I'll start with the black one. Now, so this is the Defender Gen 2 automatic, uh, automatic field watch. So it runs on Orient's uh, 46B40 movement, which hand winds and hacks. So the crown, in the original, um, the crown was screwed down, and it still is, so a nice addition. Pops out, can change the time. And one click out, I can change the date. Um, screw it back down for your 100 meters of water resistance. The case is a hair bigger than the original. It's like half a millimeter bigger, so it's 42.4 in diameter, 12.2 thick to a flat crystal. Yes, it's mineral. They did not upgrade this to sapphire. Uh, it's around 50 on the tip to tip. It is a solid screw down case back. Uh, it does come, this one comes on this black single piece nylon strap. I did mention the water resistance is 100 meters, uh, and the price, so the price on all of these is either like 230 bucks for the plain guys, which is like this one, and uh, I think this one, and then the others are like 245 They're around the same price. Let's zoom in on the dial. So what changed? Well, some of the dials flip-flopped, and the, the position of the date changed a bit. Overall, though, the presentation of the Defender is the same. So we have a 24-hour indicator down here. It's slave to 12 hour time. You cannot set this to any time zone you want. So I know that it is 6 a.m. right now according to this watch on the 26th. You have the Orient logo up here and then you have a day of the week indicator. Okay. Well, I guess I should have shown that. It's also in the first click position. One way does the day, one way does the date. Um, you'll see there's two. See? It's two clicks so that it will click over twice in the middle of the night. So uh, if you do wind up with one, I guess I, I've done this in videos before. If you wind up one day and you, you wake up and it's like th that, don't fret. Just wait a little while. Um, if you happen to get the watch and it's, and it's stuck between those positions, just use the quick adjust to, to change it. The old one, um, a little more a little more difficult to, to switch since it, it didn't offer that kind of resolution. Anyway, uh, so this guy comes in a bead blasted case as you can see right looks nice 
So then we also have, for like 15 more bucks, you have a black IP case. It's brushed though underneath. See, it's not blasted. Black, black, same, right? Same dials? Yeah. Same accents on the hands, same dials. Uh, but on a green strap with IP hardware as well. And signed crown. And holding true to the original, this is the cream dial version, which is always the most popular version uh, on in, in Gen 1. Uh, it was on a brown leather strap, much like like this, but it had texture to it. Um, so now we're on a smooth, nicely padded brown leather strap uh, with the beige dial, with the signed buckle. And this guy is also a blasted case. Now I'm making a note to say what the case finishes are because on the last two I want to show you. And I know I'm going over them quickly, but they're all pretty much the same watch. So this is, there's two on a bracelet, and they are 245, but this is a brushed case, okay? So not a blasted case. So if you get, just like on the originals, if you get them on bracelets, the case is brushed because they don't blast the bracelet, so it has to, it has to match. This actually is a blue dial. Let's see if, hopefully I can pull that a little bit, and you can see the blue. I know that's too much, but you can see the blue there. Dial it down a bit. This is the Defender on a blue dial. It comes on a nice bracelet. It does certainly look like solid links. Yes. Uh, hollow end links, but three position, um, oh, excuse me, two position micro adjustment on the clasp. Not flip block, just a regular push button clasp. So this is the blue. And then there's also a green, really nice dark olive green. Um, so in the older one, the uh, bracelet versions were just black and a, a dark blue. Not a, it was a, a, a flat blue. This is like a, almost like a, a sunburst blue. It's definitely uh, shiny. Uh, they've gone with a green and a blue. So these look really nice. Um, green, obviously, is very military. Um, not sure why they didn't pair it with a strap like this. Uh, maybe that's just my eyeballs. So that's all of them. Like I said, uh, 230 to 245 um, is, is what we're selling them for. Uh, let's um, let's do a, a quick loom shot. You can see the hands definitely have loom. The, the dial has loom. The hands are really these really cool skeleton hands. I guess I really didn't pull in on a dial. Well, maybe I did in the beginning, but let's just do it again, and then we'll do the loom. Movement Japan. So Orient still makes all of their movements actually in Japan. The watch maybe not, but the movement is from Japan. Whoops. See if we can get the case back to focus. There you go. I guess I should mention uh, the part numbers. All the part numbers are close to being the same. They're extremely confusing. RA-AK04. Um, so there's 04 here. This is, well, <laughs> AK04 tells you it's the Defender, and then you have the 01L. That's what's going to vary between all of them. Here's another one here. 0402E, so 01L, 02E, 03B, 04 something. So that's what that's how they do the part numbering scheme. Um, let's flip out the lights and just see how she lights up. Orient does a terrific job on their loom. You can see that at the 12 o'clock, you have a little registration with the double hash marks, and you can see the seconds hand happily ticking away. So there she is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Still wears fine, looks great. It's a nice looking watch. Um, you get a little more crystal size than you would for like an, a similar size SKX, simply because you know, there's no, there's no bezel to speak of. Um, so this is almost like a pilot's watch where there's a lot more glass to it than a diving watch, but it does look terrific. Oh, speaking of glass. So I mentioned before, no, they did not make these with Sapphire. Um, people have asked me in the past, so I, I think I might. If Sapphire is uh, an upgrade that you want to look for or you want me to get into the um, Sapphire business for the Defender, just let me know. Um, I'm thinking, though, just a flat, nothing with a dome or anything. Just a simple flat um, sapphire crystal, probably with some sort of AR, I'm guessing. Um, but if you want to sound off in the comments below, um, just so I can see what the market's like for that. This has been Mark from LongIllWatch.com, showing you the new second generation Orient Defender. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Oh, and follow me on Instagram, because I put stuff like this up on Instagram before the video goes out. Thank you.